Ladies and gentlemen, to the organizers, participating researchers, panel of reactors, good day everyone. It is a proud and privilege for me to be participating at this prestigious fourth IOHSK International Conference and having this opportunity for researchers around the globe to share their findings of studies. But before I go through to my presentation of the study, let me introduce myself and my advisor. I am Iron Mark Pasakian, student researcher from Department of Physical Education, Institute of Sports, Physical Education and Recreation, University of Southern Mindanao, Kabakan, Philippines. And my advisor, Marichu A. Calextro, Master of Arts in Teaching Human Kinetics from Department of Physical Education, Institute of Sports, Physical Education and Recreation, University of Southern Mindanao, Kabakan, Philippines. In this uh, qualitative study entitled The Teaching Strategies, Drawbox, and Coping Mechanism of College Physical Education Teachers Amidst New Normal Education, a Phenomenological Inquiry that explores the teachers' life experiences during the new normal education of teaching physical education, especially in the college level. As the teachers, students, and physical education departments, each of whom contribute significantly in the teaching and learning process, face a new challenge as a result of the new environment in teaching physical education subjects. The significant challenges at this time of pandemic were the real experiences of teachers in teaching service physical education subjects in the new normal education. The live experiences in delivering online classes, including strategies and coping mechanism. Hence, this study utilized the transcendental phenomenology approach of qualitative research to explore the different challenges, strategies, and coping mechanism of college physical education teachers. For the methodology, from the qualitative design, transcendental phenomenology approach to the end depth inter interview using the camera and voice recorder in the next step we have the verbatim transcription and to examine the transcribed data we have the data reduction data display and conclusion formulation and verification and for the last step we have the validation and triangula triangulation for the results and discussion the challenges of college teachers in teaching physical education in the new normal Theme one, difficulties in teaching physical education in the new normal. The PE teachers are having challenges in terms of teaching the exercise, skills, and, and those performances activities we're, we're in delivering through online. According to Rebosa et al. 2021, the most common challenges emerged in this time the teachers experiences, which includes limiting their capability to conduct certain activities in terms of handling students and the problem in students' output and activities. Second team, challenge in giving authentic assessment. The challenge in the part of the teachers that they can assure the full assessment from the, uh, the student activities and other sports uh, performances. According to Mahmoud 2021, the teachers should show flexibility give, and give extra time to students to eliminate and address the issue in, in output assessments. For the team three, inappropriate strategy for online teaching learning. As a result from the new normal education and the teaching learning process shift into the online modality where teachers are being unprepared for the strategies that they can use in facilitating online classes. The majority of instructors state their school had no strategy to implement virtual education, much less a strategy to deal with school closures, according to Brigal and Nori 2021. And for the last team for the challenges, we have the overloaded workload and teaching task. The rule and task of the physical education teachers in the online context became excessive compared to the previous face-to-face -face environment of teaching. In the new normal education of teaching physical education subjects would need to explore new teaching strategies and preparing for, on, 
for classes from a distance has resulted in a significant expansion in teach, teacher work according to Petrakova et al. 2021. And the next for the strategies used by the physical education teachers to teach physical service physical education in the context of new normal education. First thing, engaging online tools and platforms to reinforce teaching learning. This useful strategy practiced by the PE teachers when this pandemic began and, the, and to continue the process of educating while the engagement of online tools are very helpful. The use of online platforms for, on, for online teaching and learning should not be considered as a valuable solution during emergencies, but this mode can be used in parallel with classroom teaching as blended learning model of education after the situation is out according to Hassan et al. 2020. The second theme for the, the strategies, we have the monitoring students' progress and achievement. In terms of monitoring the students, the teachers are, extend their capabilities to ensure learning process would be made successful despite of the new normal education. Constantly observing student progress and achievement would help online classes be more productive rather than making the subject less priority. Students who are enrolled in the traditional class generally receive slightly higher grades and assignment scores than those who participate in online section, according to her, but 2018. And the next theme three, teachers initiative for online learners. This initiative of the physical education teachers seems effective that both of the students and teachers are collaboratively manage online learning that allow everyone to take their part. Furthermore, educators will, will remain the center of all agents as the new learning approaches are imposed for the learners. Correspondingly, flexibility with deadlines for assignments within courses, course policies, and institutional policies should be considered, according to HADS et al. 2020. For the coping mechanism of college physical education, teachers used to deal with problems in the new normal education. We have the first term, promoting inclusive education for online learning. Most of the time, the teachers in the new normal state that learning inclusively would help every student to cope with those difficulties that they're experiencing through online. Collaboration is the most important at these difficult times and we should help from the post-COVID-19 education step into the new normal according to TRIA 2020. The second theme for the coping mechanism, we have this the resourcefulness in teaching online. The teacher resourcefulness had been used to cope with the challenges in the new normal, not just those materials for teaching, but also those, the use of online application to facilitate the teaching and learning process. The teacher should, should explore themselves in the context that everyone shared a common interest and the creativity skills that integrate with the, new, the resources available. Moreover, providing a resourceful and supportive learning environment has a significant impact on students' learning success, according to Chen 2014. The team three, integrate positive teaching traits for online learners. Education is one way of collaboration that deals with knowledge, skills, and personalities. The involvement of positive traits in teaching could make the online environment more productive and student interest. Additionally, the most important personal traits turn out to be communication skills, the ability to listen and hear and respect for students, according to Safronova and Kyokina 2020. For the conclusion of the study, this, this year the following conclusions. Teaching. Teaching the skill-based activity or struggle in delivering lessons through the new platforms, hardship in indulging themselves for the online classes, difficulties in promoting the student-centered and learning development during the new normal due to the unpredictable transition and the quick shift of teaching learning circumstances. Second, the problem in utilizing the most consequential methods in assessing the student's output through the online environment causes to reduce the subject consist consistency. Third, the lack of appropriate strategy in facilitating, facilitating the online classes what was con contributing to less opportunity to accomplish the teaching objectives. 
and it's due to the insufficient idea about managing online teaching learning as the new normal education. And for the teacher's overloaded workload and teaching tasks that measures the degree of compassion and teaching proficiency amid health crisis that this challenge may possible to have work anxiety that will affect teaching performance in the new normal. For the recommendations of the study, these are the following. First, the school administration should reinforce physical education teachers through the modern concept of pedagogy and professional development through the participating in different seminars and workshops, particularly about the new techniques of instruction in new normal. Second, physical education teachers should acquire concept in current basis of assessment, applying the most convenient method of evaluation that were helpful in both teachers and student situations, and prioritize the main goal of physical education despite of phenomenological concern. Third, the physical education department should plan and discuss collaboratively with their faculty to ensure to share teaching strategies and came up with the most con relevant concept in day-to-day -day teaching learning that will eliminate the challenges of new normal pedagogies. Fourth, school administration should allocate funding for the teaching devices and material support to have more advanced pedagogical practice in the new normal. Fifth, future researchers should conduct a study about the student perception of strategies and coping mechanism imposed by the college physical education teachers in the new normal that will determine the level of effectivity as distance learning. And last, for the future researcher that particularly in this field may not focus on the same saturation of the participants, should conduct in a wide range of local that will co correlate the findings in every school and explore other phenomenological concerns in the context of physical education in the new normal especially in the primary level and remote school areas. Thank you so much for listening and mabuhay from Philippine Student Researcher.